Hey, welcome back everyone. With the year coming to a close, this team here at Sports 10 sat down and came up with some of the biggest moments of 2011. With all the local athletic accomplishments, it was tough to condense a year down into just a couple of minutes for the 2011 Year in Review. 2011 turned out to be a banner year for Sports 10. Over the course of 12 months, we watched Wabash Valley athletes leave everything they had between the lines. From the tiniest of venues to stages too big to even dream of, we saw practice transformed into perfection and competitors grow into champions. Rewind to March, which featured more madness than ever. The Washington Hatchets marched through the 3A playoffs to win yet another state title. They were led by Cody Zeller, the third and final brother in a dominant trio that combined to hang four title banners in the Hatchet House. Soon after the title run, Zeller was named Mr. Basketball, and he's currently proving just how good he is as he leads the Hoosiers to their best start since that magical season in 76. Now the Hatchets are Zeller free for the first time in 10 seasons, but legendary head coach Gene Miller continues to make his mark with a Hall of Fame induction and just recently netting win number 600. The Single A Girls Championship featured two schools from right here in the Valley. The Lady Warriors from Turkey Run High School put together some kind of season. Coach Thompson's top six players were all seniors, a rarity that's much more manageable when three of those six players are triplets. The Francis sisters along with Jordan Hunt led the Warriors to the title game. But they met a Reve team that was destined for greatness. Tim Young's Lady Patriots didn't lose a game on the way to the state title. Young's daughter Sarah ran the attack, but this was an extremely balanced team. With six players averaging between six and ten points per game, the Patriots were still able to capture the first state title in school history, even though one of their star seniors had to watch with a knee injury. Of course, the Indiana State Sycamores stole the show in March 2011, led by a first-year head coach and a local boy who became the face of the university as a redshirt freshman. ISU heated up to run through the Valley Tournament, and they captivated Terre Haute with an NCAA bid that ended with an opening round loss to Syracuse. But with most of that team back, the Sycamores currently sit at 9-2, fresh off of a win over nationally ranked Vanderbilt. Only time will tell what 2012 has in store for this bunch. With the spring came baseball season and more Valley greatness. Terre Haute South's A.J. Reed joined Zeller at the top of his sport. For the first time ever, Mr. Baseball and Mr. Basketball called the Wabash Valley home. Reed led the Braves to the Final Four where they fell to Cathedral. But down in single A, North Central took their playoff run a step further, going all the way to the state finals before bowing out to Lafayette Central Catholic. When high school and college sports took a break, the Terre Haute Rex quickly became the boys of summer. The Rex seemed to have a grip on winning in dramatic fashion. The regular season started with a walk-off, and then in the second to last game, Steven Bruno teed off to keep the Rex playoff hopes alive. And his bomb would prove to be crucial in sending the Rex ping-ponging into the Prospect League playoffs in just their second year of existence. We sent football teams deep into the playoffs in both Illinois and Indiana. The Linton Miners were perfect all season long until they met Andy Cecina in the Final Four. And over in Illinois, the Warriors of Casey Westfield ran over opponents all the way to the state finals, where they came in second to Morrison. Indiana State continued to show improvement under head coach Trent Miles. For the second year in a row, the Trees bested the 500 mark. They rode the back of sophomore running back Shakir Bell. He was the top rusher in the nation running for over 1,600 yards at a clip of more than seven yards per carry. Maybe the most impressive thing about Bell, the general surprise when he didn't bust a big run and take it all the way to the house. Sycamore fans were clearly spoiled by double deuce. The Valley boasts athletes on top of their sport, like Steve Weatherford, Clint Barmas, and Kylie Hudson. And now as we prepare to close 2011 with the Pizza Hut Classic set to be tremendous, 
We'll always be on the lookout for tomorrow's stars, but be certain that we'll never forget yesterday's memories.